guys, it's Candy and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the final book for the February Candyland Book Club. I feel like I'm a little bit behind schedule. So, for The Best Day Ever by Kayara Ruda. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but um, this was, here on the front it even says, a tensely written, shocking book that will hold readers on the edge of their seats to the very last page. I read some really good thriller books all the way from Stephen King to John Saul. I don't know if John Saul still writes books, but he just stands out as um, a good thriller author. Um, Robin Cook, I've read some like medical mystery thriller type books. I don't think I would count this as a thriller. I mean, I guess if you had to categorize it somewhere, that's where it best fits. But I don't really think that anything in the book happened that was just so crazy out there that it defines it as that great of a thriller, if that makes sense. So overall, I'm going to rate the book 3.5. Uh, basically, the basis of the story is Paul and Mia. They are a married couple. They have two young sons. I want to say I think they've been married like 10 years. And they decide to spend the weekend away at their cottage on Lake Erie. So the story kind of starts out, they're getting in their car and many, many chapters are all about just their traveling in the car, heading towards their cottage. And it's mostly Paul telling you kind of his side of the story of like why he's so great. And he he's just like this total jerk, super full of himself, like, thinks of his wife as like this trophy wife and how he just deserves the best of everything and you just obviously the writer just wants you to like hate this guy as much as possible because there's just nothing that he said or did even parts of the story where he's talking about um, things that he's doing behind his wife's back like cheating on her just all this stuff like you just you just hate him more and more and more as each chapter goes on. And the chapters go by like time, like in the beginning. It's like, oh, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, all about that very first, you know, kind of like best day ever. It was really gonna kind of be like the best weekend ever, but whatever, best day. From the outside, you would view Paul and Mia as this like perfect relationship. They live in a nice house. Mia comes from money. Um, Paul makes a lot of money at his job or so you think but there's more to that story later and uh, Like I said, he just kind of views his wife as this like trophy wife and he's got the picture-perfect marriage and perfect kids um, Perfect house on the perfect street type situation But obviously things aren't as perfect as Paul's leading on because here he keeps referring to this best day ever that he's going to treat his wife to and all along he's concocting this like big plan to do something bad and you never know what until the moment it's about to happen and then the story kind of takes a twist finally Mia speaks up she has a voice she tells him a lot of the things that he's been up to she knows what's going on and so he's kind of put in his place a little bit and I think that's where like at the end of the story the author intended to like end with this big bang and have this like shocking ending and really I feel like it it wasn't like descriptive enough it was really weird because the last book that I read um, Little Fires Everywhere I felt like when I was reading through the pages I was really struggling because there was almost like too much detail too much talk about things that happened in the past that I really didn't care to know about but this book almost like didn't give enough detail I felt like there was just something missing I didn't really feel like my whole heart was into the story. And I feel like the more details, the more it like draws you in. But with that being said, it does have a good ending. I liked the book. 3.5, I think that's a pretty fair rating. Um, it, Like I said, at the end, you sort of feel like, okay, I can understand it, I get it. But at the same time, I feel like there was just a little bit more to the story of like, what happened next. 
I think feel like a lot of books end that way where you always want a little bit more. And that's not a bad thing. Sometimes that makes for a great book when you read it. You're like, oh, I wish there was a part two. Or, you know, you're left to your own imagination of what you think happened. But uh just seemed like it built up to this, like, really big moment. And then the big moment was, like, over in, in like, two or three chapters. Um, online this book gets pretty good reviews. There's a lot of people that really liked it. So of course this is just my opinion. So if somebody asked me would I recommend this book, I would. I think it's a good book. It wouldn't necessarily be something that I would want to um, take to the beach, but for a late night reading if you like these kind of books, sort of on the thriller genre of things, I think it would not disappoint. So if you guys did read this book, which I know there were some of you that had commented recently and said you were reading this or it was next on your list, please comment below. I'd love to know if I'm not the only one that kind of felt like there was a little bit missing and you kind of wanted a little bit something more from the story or not. So thanks guys for uh, listening to my review today. I will say that I'm already almost halfway through reading the first book for March and it is so good. I, I know I'm going to finish reading it this weekend because we have a dance competition and I get a lot of extra time to just do whatever. So for March all of my book selections are young adult and I will list all of those down in the description below. Actually I'll just link the video for the Mar March book selections if you want to check that out and then heads up for April I'm actually going to be looking for kind of like maybe some like summer sort of beach reads. I know it's not summer yet, but I don't know. I'm anxious to kind of try that genre of books next. Maybe a good love romance story, beachy summer vibe mixed in. So if you have any recommendations that would be a fit for April, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. So thanks guys for watching and I will see you next time. Make it a great day. Bye.